Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another tutorial using Affinity Photo. For this one, I'm going to show you my technique to whiten teeth while keep it looking natural and realistic. I'm not a fan of the plastic, perfect Barbie model fashion magazine look. I want to keep people looking like their natural selves, just a bit nicer. The photos I'm using today are stock photos. I didn't want to use any of my client photos or my photos, so there's no risk of embarrassing them or myself. This video is not sponsored by Affinity Photo in any way. It's just the program that I've been using for years now and I really enjoy. In this tutorial, we will be creating a macro for this technique. That way you can duplicate this process with one click for future photos. First thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer. Uh, it's just good practice even though we're focusing on the teeth. Always duplicate it that way. If anything happens, you always have the original photo to fall back on. So with that layer selected, we're going to hit Control J and duplicate that layer. And for the technique, we're going to add a pixel layer. So once we have that pixel layer selected, we're going to go to our paintbrush tool. We're going to select white so you can hit X on your keyboard or just click white. Uh, hardness, uh, about 15-20% is good enough for teeth. Left and right bracket to increase or decrease the size of the brush. And for here, we're just going to paint over the teeth. For here, you don't need to be super concerned with the edges, uh, just trying to get the whole teeth in there. I've seen other tutorials where they're actually selecting the teeth and trying to get it as refined as they can, but with this technique, because we're not overdoing the whitening effect, you can be a little less controlled. And we can zoom out. Now, once we have the teeth painted over, we can go through and just touch up a little bit more if there are any edges we need to get into. Again, you don't have to be super exact with this. And now from this part is when we're going to start the macro. So over on your macro library, hit macro and hit record. And we're going to change the blend mode to soft light and change the opacity down to 35%. We're going to duplicate this layer again, so hit control J and we duplicated that pixel layer, so we'll have a second one of just the, the painting that we did, the teeth painting. We're gonna go to saturation, and we're gonna drop this one to 25%. And then at that point, we can go ahead and stop that macro. We can hit add to library. Save it as teeth whitening for the tutorial because I already had a macro made for this. And from there, we can select both layers and turn it on and off and just see how much we've affected it. Now you can go in here and refine a little bit more. Again, if you want them a little bit more brighter, you can. Ch all you have to do is change the opacity, move it up or down. Again, 35% is what I found for whitening to keep it looking natural. Saturation, 25. But again, if you do have teeth that are really yellow, you can bump that up. I bumped it up to 50% before. Uh, if you go too much, they start to look white and gray, which again, isn't natural and doesn't isn't really flattering. It gives it a blue, grayish look to it. Doesn't really look good. You really need to be conservative with how much you're bumping this up. If you do have a problem tooth like this one right here, you can always create a new pixel layer. Go back to your paintbrush tool. Make sure you have white selected, select that single tooth, go back down, we're going to change the saturation again, and we're just going to fine tune that one tooth to match the others, and that's about 50% for that one tooth for it to match. So without, and with it, that's probably a little bit too much, I think back down to about 40%. Now that we created that macro, we can go to a whole new photo. This one, they're not, the teeth are already pretty white, but there is some yellow in there and we can clean it up a little bit. Again, duplicate that layer, add a pixel layer, press X to change it to white, increase that brush size. And from here, all we're gonna do is go over and paint over the teeth. Again, I like this technique because you don't need to be super exact with it. You can be a little bit more sloppy, less exact with your, your paintbrush because the effect is so subtle that it's really not going to show on the lips. We're really only looking at affecting the teeth. Um, bottom teeth like this, if they're not really showing through and they look all right, you can always skip over them. It's usually the top teeth that we need to focus on a little bit more. You want to get in a little bit closer, left bracket, again, to lower your brush size. 
So we can turn off the background layers and this is what we have for our teeth. With that pixel layer selected, go ahead and just select that macro we made. And right there, we can select both layers, turn them on and off, before and after. Now because we did the only half of the bottom teeth, you can go back on here and just paint over each one. So we're painting over the, the soft light layer right here. And again, we're gonna go back over the saturation. We wouldn't have to do that if we just finished the, the bottom teeth before. One little tip for back teeth like this and that are in shadow. We don't need to worry so much about the saturation. I'll just select the, the soft light and just paint over that one individual tooth or any teeth that are back in the shadow, like this one over here. Again, we're just gonna brighten it up a little bit. Not worried about the saturation of that one. Uh, we're just painting on the soft light layer. So we can select both again, off and on. It looks natural, it looks clean. They're not overly white. And from there, you have your macro and you can do this with every other photo. Again, we can look at this one right here. All right, it's a little bit yellow. Add a new pixel layer, paint over it. I don't know why the, the canine teeth are always a little bit more yellow, but drop that back down to saturation. Drop that to, let's try another 35%. And there we go. We got that one tooth that was a little bit more yellow, looking like the rest of them. Off and on, right here we're looking at this tooth off and then back on now the colors matching up pretty good with the front teeth this is a technique i use in pretty much all my photos when i'm going to whiten up teeth some teeth are a little bit more yellow so all i do is bump up the opacity of the saturation layer a little bit more to get that yellow out of there even on the side of the teeth right here we can go in and bump out some of this yellow that are in between the teeth i hope you found this tutorial helpful Please hit the like button if you did. I have a lot more planned for the future. Not only tutorials, but more about my gear, cameras, technique, reviews, just a whole range of awesomeness in store. So please subscribe if you'd like to see that and leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see in the future. I'd love to give out more content people are actually looking for. Thank you all for watching. You're all amazing and have a wonderful day.